Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to talk about earnings estimated moves. And this is a little bit different than what stock traders are used to when they're thinking about um, analyst estimates or analysts estimating an earnings per share. Estimated move with options traders is the the estimated magnitude of the move up or down and that's really set by the markets not an analyst and those are options traders trading uh against each other and then uh the markets really determine the the magnitude of the move which is uh referenced by the option straddle and um if you think that the estimated move by the options traders is too high um or overestimated then you could sell the sell the option straddle and if you think that the uh, estimated move by the options traders is too low and they're underestimating it then you could buy the options straddle and if it turns out that the you're right and the and the move for example was much larger than was estimated and you're and you bought the option straddle then that that option straddle should be profitable so I'm just gonna get into we're on the earnings calendar right here and I'm just gonna come in here and just look at some of these statistics and describe them to you um, this is taking uh, the the current estimated move from the option straddle and it's listing here what the percentage estimated move is up or down um, and then it's comparing it to the historical uh, average moves in the stock in the last four quarters so what these statistics are saying here is it's converting the um, actual earnings moves in the last four quarters and it's taking an absolute average so it, it doesn't matter if the stock moves up or down it converts all the moves to positive values and takes an average and then you could compare what the last four quarters average is versus what the estimated move is up for the upcoming earnings and then over here it's telling you if it's overestimating or underestimating based on that four quarter average in this example you also have in those four quarters it's showing the the lowest move out of the four quarters and the highest move so you get a you get a range um for, for those four quarters from low to high and then it goes down the line so over here we see an example of an underestimated move because uh those four the average of the last four quarters was 9.6 percent right now they're estimating a 5.7 percent so it's underestimating based on this average um and then but you can see here that the the from the low to the high uh for, of one percent to 17.4 percent is very is very wide so you know be, be careful a little bit over there because that average is obviously getting skewed because of this one one uh uh outlier over here you could also go to the 12 quarter uh average average move and this just uh smooths out those averages over more more quarters so now you have a 12 quarter average and you could compare it here so this is the 12 quarter average move this is the expected current move and this is the range over here and this lets you know how far away the expected move is from the uh, historical average uh, and of course you could start here you could also um, sort any of these columns by you know highest um, overestimate or underestimated uh, average daily option volume market cap and so on and these are the stocks that are upcoming with earnings um, uh, today or you could go down the calendar uh, to switch to the next day or any days that are upcoming with earnings uh, thanks for thanks everyone for watching see you next video